Hello and welcome Three, to another Warfork two, demo casting. One. Today we're going to be watching Five. Trauma Queen vs. Player on WFDM5. Player 69, in fact. Uh, we're going to be starting off on Trauma Queen, who's going to be picking up a few little weapons. Now the armors have spawned. Should be getting this first one. So Trauma Queen going to get this armor and player going to get the mega health pretty good trade for them i would say player definitely in a better position right now trauma queen didn't get the any uh, extra health or anything and player did manage to pick up some extra armors so right now player going to be in a better position a veteran of the game i do believe trauma queen not quite the veteran Played a few times, but not entirely a veteran at this point. But this is a good map. It's a clean map. A very nice fight there. Just some crisp, clean rockets. Interesting shot down there. Not quite sure what the uh, player was aiming at right here. Again, you can see the weapon, you can see the ammo management these players have to do. You can see that there's a lot of a weapon and ammo management in these games. Very nice shot there. I'm going to miss that other rail. going to be waiting. Sneaks through that little gap. It's a nice gap to sneak through. That was very close. That was very clever play there. Jumping up, trying to think. Where anything is. Three seconds left on this. We're going to get hit from above. Doesn't notice that the Trauma Queen is above. And now Trauma Queen has a bit of control. Gets a couple of good shots off. Still hitting. Finishes with that rocket. <coughs> sorry. Very much sorry. Got a little thing stuck in your throat or something. No rockets for Trauma Queen right now, though. Spamming through that little gap. That's a nice little gap to spam through. It does give away your position. So if the player isn't up there and they see you spamming through there, they do know where you are. They are able to push you from another angle and you might not be able to see them and you'll have your grenade launcher out. So you won't be able to do very much with it unless you're going to pineapple them. Running out of ammo on quite a few weapons here. Good amount of LG. Perfect timing on that. But player going to punish them. Down to 22 health now, Trauma Queen. Should go down here to the riot gun. And indeed does. Player. Bouncing around. Very nice movement. You can tell a player that has been playing. A player that's been playing. While we're watching player. Player that's been playing Warso for a while. You can tell due to the way that they use the bounce. Versus people who just use it off the wall. Or people who are using it off the floor to turn around much quicker and maintain their speed. Like this. Able to dodge off the wall. Jumping round. All you've got to do is jump once and then you can use it. And people who know when to and not to fly around. It's a very important thing to see in these games. Trauma Queen getting caught entirely off guard in the wrong position. 10 seconds still until that Mega Armor comes up though. So there's a lot of time to float around and for a bit of more damage to be dealt. Hopefully for player, player's going to be able to do a bit more damage. Trauma Queen did pick up that armor, but going to go down. So that armor now player should realize it's not coming up. The Mega Health is up. He needs to get over to the Mega Health. Let's lose the Mega Health. Going to take quite a bit of damage there. Needs to really get over to the Mega Health. Going to be waiting this entire respawn cycle though. But has lost that mega health and loses the mega armor absolutely amazing play there from trauma queen a bit of a blunder from player who was in a very good position but missed that mega armor didn't know the timing quite clearly and then just stuck it out which left trauma queen with an easy option of go and grab the mega health and then get back for the mega armor I think that the Mega Health and Mega Armor are going to be up at the same time in a second. No, they won't be, actually. I was going to say they'd be up at the same time because there's going to be a fight down there. But player must be very low right now. Running away completely, doesn't want to take the fight, knows what his opponent's got. But Trauma Queen 
moving around this map very nicely. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful looking the other way. Now going to be heading. Get a good shot off. Spam. Still. You've got to watch your spam, otherwise you're going to run out of rockets. Grenades. Whatever ammo. And for a game that gives you so much ammo, it's incredible how quick you can run out of anything you've got. Not a lot of weapon boxes around. They're always in good, dangerous positions like the one what, what up there, those rockets. Ten rockets there. They'd be very useful if Trauma Queen wanted to go for them. Has the Mega Health going to be taken out? Someone's going to go down in this fight and there it is. A very nice shot from player. The score now three to nine with four and a half or four minutes left to go. And beautiful timing on that red armor. Great movement here from player. Floating around the map. Trauma Queen trying to capitalize on something. A nice little steal. Just there for the twenty to get a little bit of a lost health, but not too much of a problem really. Now I'm just going to start typing. This These are all casual games, obviously. None of these are serious or any cup matches. Just joined a random server earlier. And was watching these games and then decided this was a good game. And I wanted to cast it, so I downloaded it. Because this game has downloading servers off of demos. So if you do get a good game, by the way, you should send it to me. What you should do is you should find me on some form of Discord or something, which I may or may not check. And you should send the server you were on and the number. Type demo list. If it's the last game you played, it'll be the last number. And send us that number. I'll then go and download it. I'll cast it. And we'll get it up. But as for right now, we need to get back into this game. 4 to 11 the score. It's quite a big gap, but it's still doable with two and a half minutes left to go. We saw most of the frags, sort of five frags come out. About two minutes from that, I've put the score up to 11 9. Now. Draw McQueen dodging around the back of the map. Hoping to find a kill here, but player is dodging. Playing the plus back game, he knows that he can play a bit safer. He knows he can get into these situations, like that one, where he can take the fight. Unfortunately, he was able to just miss it, but... Five seconds left on the Mega Health. And player going to go down. 6 to 11. You see the scoreline coming back right now. Never give up in these games. Even if you doubled your opponent's score. And never get lax. Because otherwise your opponent will just come back and beat you. As we're seeing a little bit here. You can not You can never drop off the pressure in this game. Until the last 30 seconds. You still have to be pressuring for the items. You still have to keep going in. And attacking and trying to make your moves. Because otherwise your opponent's just going to get all of the items. And you're going to have nothing when they eventually are able to force a fight. Trauma Queen here. It's going to get taken out, I think. But actually just floating around. I'm not sure if player wants to pick up any armour. Or if he's just happy with the position he's in right now. Trauma Queen, they're more likely to be uh, a little bit tilted, a little bit. It's over for them. It pretty much is. But they've put up a tough fight. Put up a tough fight since the beginning. It's been a pretty good one. And despite the scoreline, the fights themselves have been pretty... Pretty close. The big difference between these two players, simply just map control. Player was always able to keep some level of map control, whereas Trauma Queen was unable for most of the game. Either had map control or didn't have map control. 
Whereas player Three. knew the timing <laughs> even if he wasn't One. able to pick up the items a few runs. Game over. So GG. 14 to 9 for player. Well played.